Hey, this is Carl, and welcome to another episode of Statues I Wish I Can Afford. So stay tuned. So for the guys who are new here, this is where I will be sharing pieces that I am currently interested in. Also pieces that I have passed on the pre-order this month. And pieces that I did pre-order or paid for the follow-up payments. I will also be sharing some thoughts on the statues on why I like them or pass on them and you will also be able to see which pieces that I will be receiving soon. So without further ado, let's start. First on the interest list is this prototype reveal of Weapon X. What's not to love? This is probably the first bloody Weapon X around which is not pro painted of course. Great scope and great paint. If you are looking for a Weapon X, look no further. If bloody is not your thing, this Weapon X will also come in a cleaner version. Next is a DC statue and we have this Harley Quinn. This is also already the prototype. It's painted by the factory's master painter so the production unit will most likely be one is to one with the prototype. Really love the small base on this Harley. Also she's wearing something different than usual which is really fresh in my opinion. She's like a high school cheerleader here. Great sculpt and very beautiful portrait for sure. Next is we have a diorama and we have this Iron Spider-Man fighting Venom. This is actually the second Spider-Man diorama from the studio. The first one is this diorama that was sculpted by Caleb Nefsen. I honestly would have wished that Venom has a full body. This statue would have been perfect. But nonetheless, sculpt still looks pretty good. Any spawn fan here? Cause the next one is gonna blow your minds. So next is we have a gunslinger spawn. I'm not really into spawn that much but I do know he's pretty badass. And I can definitely say this is a pretty good spawn statue. No doubt this is one of the best ones around. Comes with a lot of switch out. Just check the photos. Next is we have another DC piece and we have this The Dark Knight Returns Batman and he is riding a horse in this one. This is actually already the print or the 3D print of the statue and I must say it looks pretty good and promising. I can't wait for the prototype reveal on this one, gonna go fast for sure, will definitely consider getting this one. Next is we have an X-Men and we have Cable. 
been looking for a good cable for a while now and so far I still like the XM OG cable more than everything else but this one sits in second. What I like about this uh, custom cable is that it's more comic accurate than XM and I do hope they make the arm uh, painted chrome that would definitely elevate this statue even more. We'll revisit this one once the prototype is revealed but so far I'm already liking the sculpt and especially the base. Next, this dark side just got printed and, and I still consider this as one of the best dark sides around for both custom or license. I think I have mentioned this guy on my top 10 custom DC statues in production this year 2022 video and I'm definitely a fan of this dark side. His portrait looks really good. We'll see what the prototype looks like when that's done. Next is we have a Spider-Man and like I said in previous video, I really do have a soft spot for Del Otto inspired Spider-Mans. So this is no exception. Love everything about this Spider-Man and it's actually inspired from one of Del Otto's uh, art. It's actually a statue form of that 2D art that Del Otto did. I'm actually on the hunt for a bushy Venom and I think that Venom would pair really good with this Spider-Man. Next is we have another DC villain which is Doomsday. Also a part of the top 10 custom DC statues in production 2022 video. So this is already the prototype and it looks really good. Even better than the renders to be honest. Actually the prototype kinda looks like they are renders as well. That's how good this Doomsday is. Next is we have another prototype reveal and this time it's this Samurai Logan. This is actually a special mention on my top 10 custom Wolverines in production video and by the looks of this prototype, it should have been in the top 10 and not just a special mention. But this is sold out anyway so definitely congratulations to everybody who was able to get this Samurai Logan. Next is we have this very sexy female character and we have this Savage Land Storm. I've seen a lot of sold out sexy statues uh, lately and I think sexy statues are becoming a thing lately. Anyway, this storm looks pretty good, great portraits and definitely great anatomy. Can't go wrong with this one if you are looking for a unique storm to own.
Last on the interest list is another Spider-Man, but this is not a quarter scale Spider-Man, but a legendary scale or one-up scale. What's intriguing about this one is that it's wall mountable. Heard that right. Really love the concept and I believe a lot more collectors would love this concept as well. A one-fourth scale of this is also in the works, but the one-off scale uh, was prioritized. Next will be stuff that I pass on pre-order or no longer interested in. First is this bishop. I did say I wanted to revisit this someday when I see the prototype. Now that I've seen it, I think it's still not for me. So I'm still looking for that bishop and cable that will win my heart. Nonetheless, I still think the sculpt and paint on this is superb. It's just not for me. Next is another item that I said I will be revisiting in the future, and we have this Venom. Not that there's any available slots for this since the edition size is just 15, but the paint up is not for me. Would have preferred a kit if I have this on pre-order. Paint though still looks pretty good, but I guess it's too simple for me. Next are statues that I did pre-order or paid for the follow-up payments. For the first two items will be licensed statues and both are from Queen Studios. So first on the list is this Winter Soldier Captain America. I honestly didn't want to pre-order this but I didn't have any MCU Captain America uh, on pre-order and I really wanted one. And the price on this is actually not bad so I just pre-ordered it. Not a big fan of the costume here too. Would have preferred those darker costumes of his in the movie. It is what it is, but I like the portraits on this captain more than the one on the Iron Studios. But I like the costume on the Iron Studios one more, definitely. Next is a no-brainer pre-order for me and it's this Iron Man Mark 1. I have all the other Iron Mans on pre-order from Queen Studios except for one, but I think I might as well pre-order that in the future or maybe when it's ready to ship. So I pre-ordered this because I'm an Iron Man fan and I think this is a must-have. Definitely better than the Iron Studios one and people who aren't collectors but have seen the movie will definitely appreciate this one. Next are custom pieces and I finally caved in and pre-ordered this Superior Spider-Man. I don't think that there will be a Superior Spider-Man better than this one, hopefully not, but this one is definitely pretty good. The prototype is even better than the renders. And now that I've mentioned this guy here, he is actually shipping next month. And yes, that is fast. I got the Spider Slayer base version of this guy and that version is now sold out but the Scorpion one is still available. Very excited to receive this and unbox him for you guys.
Next is we have another Spider-Man. Actually, I pre-ordered two of them because I don't know. Impulse buy, I guess. Anyway, so these are two different symbiote Spider-Mans. One is a Del Otto Spider-Man and the other one is I really don't know. Actually, the I don't know version of Spider-Man is the one that I really wanted. I just took the Del Otto one because I thought that I would mod the eyes to be similar to that one. But we will see once it's uh, painted if I still want to go that path. And before I forget, uh, these are just kits and will come in two bases. And their Venom will actually open its pre-order too. But I'm not allowed to share them. But I will share the photos if I successfully pre-order them since it's very limited. And last on the list is we have this Terax. Coming from the studio which I buy my annihilators from, I honestly thought this guy was Darkseid the first time I saw him. Has a lot of similarities, but this guy is actually one of Galactus's older heralds before Silver Surfer. And I want to get him to pair with my other Silver Surfer and hopefully next to a Galactus. Scope looks pretty good, it's the type of renders I usually buy, but this one went on pre-order with the prototype reveal, which is great. You are seeing what you are buying already. So that's the end of the episode. What do you guys think of the pieces mentioned in the video? Let me know if you think I've missed some pretty good pieces this month. Thanks for watching and see you again next month. Subscribe to the channel for more content like this.